On December 21, 1988, Pan Am Flight 103, a regularly scheduled Pan American World Airways flight from Frankfurt, West Germany, to Detroit via London and New York, operated by a Boeing 747-121. The aircraft crashed, killing all 243 passengers and 16 crew members. An additional 11 people on the ground were killed, bringing the total death toll to 270. Let's figure out what caused UK's deadliest air crash. The plane took off from Frankfurt Airport at 6.25 p.m. local time on December 21, 1988, and made a stop in London before continuing to New York. At 7.03 p.m., as the plane flew over Lockerbie, Scotland, at an altitude of 31,000 feet, a bomb exploded in the cargo hold, causing the plane to break up mid-air. Debris from the explosion and the aircraft's wreckage rained down on the town of Lockerbie, killing 11 people on the ground and damaging several homes. Investigations into the crash revealed that the bomb was carried initially aboard the aircraft in a suitcase in Malta, before being transferred onto the Pan Am flight in Frankfurt, contrary to popular belief that the bombing began there. It exploded in the aircraft's forward cargo hold just before 7.03 p.m., with highly disastrous results. It was also determined that it had been planted by a group of Libyan intelligence agents who were seeking revenge for the US bombing of Libya in 1986. The international community widely condemned the attack, and in 1991, two Libyan intelligence agents were indicted for their roles in the bombing. One of the suspects, Abdel Basset al-Megrahi, was later convicted and sentenced to life in prison, but he was released on compassionate grounds in 2009 due to terminal cancer. The other suspect, Laman Khalifa Fima, was acquitted and returned to Libya. Muammar al-Gaddafi, Libyan president, at that time, agreed to pay $2.7 billion in compensation to the families of those killed in the bombing in 2003. Indeed, at a press conference in November 2008, US Senator Frank Lautenberg announced that the families of American victims of the Pan Am bombing had received final compensation from the Libyan government. Each family received approximately $10 million in payments between 2004 and 2008. The disaster profoundly impacted the aviation industry, leading to increased security measures and a greater focus on preventing terrorist attacks on planes. It also had a lasting impact on the victims, families, many of whom continue to grieve for their loved ones more than 34 years later.